Mr. Perkins. You must be Thomas Wolfe. I prefer to get my rejections in the mail, but I wanted to meet you. The man who first read Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and said genius. Well, every son of a bitch publisher in New York hates my book. Mr. Wolfe, we intend to publish your book. <laughs> Max, this is Mrs. Bernstein. Mr. Perkins. She's the first person who told me my writing was worth anything. They're calling you a genius, Scott. Help you. Now I'm a Scribner's bestseller. I deserve a little of the highlight. <laughs> Max tells us you're working on a new book. It's about America. All of it. <laughs> I have it. A new book. Bring it in, guys. Here you go. We can do it. How long? Nine months. If you resist the temptation to add more. I have to be able to add more. The book is 5,000 pages long. Point take. All right. Cut, cut, cut. You've been working every night for two years. Do you have any idea what it's like coming home to an empty apartment every night? I've lost him to your husband. Your daughters, they want their father back. My job is what I do. Two years and the book's only 100 pages short. I bring you stuff rich right from my gut. You wouldn't do this to Hemingway, to Fitzgerald. Stop it. You of all people just so damn scared to live. There are other ways to live. God help anyone who loves you, Tom, because for all your millions of beautiful words, you haven't the slightest idea of what it means to be alive. Max thinks he created me. He crippled me. He deformed my work. He made all your dreams come true. He gave you a career. Look what you have done to me. You hurt me. I can't turn my back on the work. Make your choice, Tom, right now. That's what we editors lose sleep over, you know? Are you really making books better or just making them different? In all my life, until I met you, I never had a friend. Nothing. A writer like Tom, I get one in a lifetime. You get your daughters for the same lifetime. There's one paragraph I have to add to the book. My God. I have if to you add. start adding paragraphs, we're sunk. This book is dedicated to Maxwell Everts Perkins. The author hopes this book will prove worthy of him.